The St. Louis Rams are a young team in 2012. That means inconsistency. It means unpredictability. And sometimes it means inconsistency, inconsistency and unpredictability in a single game. And that's what they got today in a 31-17 victory. Their first road victory of the win in Arizona today against the Cardinals. Um, things started off pretty poorly. Uh, two punts in the first quarter. Uh, soft defense that kind of allowed Ryan Lindley to feel out the game in front of him in his first NFL start for the Cardinals, resulting in a touchdown that had Arizona up 7 to nothing after one. Uh, and then things started to turn. A pick six by Janoris Jenkins to lead off the second quarter um, kind of got the Rams going, though a poor pass from Sam Bradford, a poor decision, uh, resulted in an interception in the end zone by Patrick Peterson. And it, it kind of felt like the Rams were going to squander another opportunity, something they've become very adept at doing this year. But it, it was something different that we saw today, and that was the adjustments. The coaching staff put together some adjustments in both the offensive and defensive game plans that ended up helping them on route to the 14-point win. On the defensive side, uh, like I mentioned, they played really soft early on, and you started to see them tighten up, and they allowed guys like Janoris Jenkins to jump those routes, ended up with two pick sixes, uh, two interceptions returned for touchdowns. I don't know why I had to explain that, but uh, two interceptions returned for touchdown by Janoris Jenkins. Great performance. They really ended up keying down really hard on Ryan Lindley. Ended up with four interceptions in his first start. And although he threw for more than 300 yards, he had a very heavy work rate, 31 of 52. On the other side, Sam Bradford, after that early interception, kind of settled into a game manager role. Eight, eight of 17, 205 yards, two touchdowns, a beautiful throw down the sideline to Chris Givens. A great defensive read hitting Lance Kendricks down the seam for the other touchdown. He had a, you know, it was a limited performance, but given what you saw from that interception, he took a hit a couple of plays later, a couple of series later, and really was able to bounce back and show some toughness and resiliency, and it kind of resonated throughout his play. But one thing that certainly helped on the offensive side was something that Rams fans have been clamoring for almost all season, and that's more running game, more opportunities for Steven Jackson. And he really took the game over offensively today. 24 carries, 139 yards. That's nearly six yards per carry. And you juxtapose that against what the Cardinals got from Beanie Wells. <clears throat> Excuse me, 17 carries, 48 yards. It, it, it was a difference between a team that could lean on its running game and one that was kind of asking <clears throat> for more from its ground game. On the other hand, you had a passing game where Larry Fitzgerald didn't have the greatest game despite being one of the most talented receivers in the NFL. The Rams got Danny Amendola back from injury, but he wasn't uh, a big part of the game plan. He had just one target, a reception for 38 yards, but didn't get into end zone. Chris Givens, the rookie out of Wake Forest, got the majority of the looks, six targets, five catches for more than 100 yards, including the touchdown. Uh, he was used in much more versatile ways than we've seen in weeks past, and that suggests something moving forward that Rams fans should be excited about. Uh, at the same time, it was that defense that Rams fans have come to rely on that really stepped up in the second half. You got to remember the Rams shut out the Cardinals in the second half. It was a 17 to nothing half in favor of the Rams in the final 30 minutes of the game. Four interceptions, as I mentioned, two from Jenkins, one from Craig Dahl of all people. Uh, uh, if there are four signs of the apocalypse, that's somewhere around two or three. Um, and a late interception from James Laurinaitis to seal the game now. To play devil's advocate, there were issues with penalties. The Rams racked up double-digit penalties, uh, and this is something they're going to have to fix moving into 2013. That You can't be a successful team averaging as many penalties week to week as the Rams have. I don't know why I'm having trouble saying penalties as much as I'm having. I'll work on that for 2013. Uh, the Cardinals did their fair share at helping us out with seven penalties of their own, uh, some timely ones at that. Um, but the, the end result was what Rams fans should want. 31-17, to two touchdown win. On the road, the Rams are now 3-0-1 in the NFC West. And moving forward, while statistically they're in the playoff race, you want to be realistic and say, look, they, they've dropped too many opportunities at this point. You can't expect them to take advantage of uh, what looks like a somewhat favorable a stretch, a home stretch uh, for the schedule. But these are good experiences for a young team that, as I mentioned in the opening, is inconsistent. And, you know, it's a tale of two halves. It's a... You know, you know, they're unpredictable, they're ups and downs. It's those kind of wild swings that don't get evened out because you don't have the experience and the chemistry to be able to take advantage of everybody's talent at the same time. But moving forward into 2013 and beyond, that's something that Rams fans should be expecting. And they need to expect opportunities to be taken advantage of like today. They dropped a game against Miami on the road, dropped a game against the Jets at home, but today they got it done on air, against Arizona on the road. Moving forward. We'll need more games like today than those losses that we had. And if, if today was any indication, maybe we'll get some more of them.